Okay, we're off with a seven minute game. Just uh, relearning chess. Always looking to uh, find something new, something different, something fresh. Just bring the queen out. Does actually capture, surprised. Okay, so let me see. This white square bishop can sit there quite nicely, stopping us from um, castling. That would be an interesting situation. Let's attack their bishop first. Make some space. We might queen tide castle. Oh, that was quick. And he's getting very activated. Looks like he's wanting to upset our um, queen side castling. Yeah, look how quick he moved then. <laughs> okay, so because they moved that fast, I believe that they've made an error. So I'm going to bring my bishop here. Now I can queen side castle. And his knight is looking to jump, maybe to here, to there, to there. Just going to bring my bishop back. Try and establish some control in the centre. And just going to simply take and attack again. And develop the king. His bishop's supporting, it's moving very fast. Can't be much thought put into that type of situation. So I'm going to push this pawn here, looking to push on to his knight. So now they've slowed down. Because as you know, we're looking for position. And uh, we could take, his knight takes, his knight then is on our pawn here. Our king moves up to protect. <clears throat> or we could just leave this like this and just attack his knight first like we were going to do. Let's attack the knight. Capture with the king. Because this knight still wants to come here because he's going to want to champion this pawn. But we can turn this pawn into an attacker. Ah, it's changed the mind. So, our knight can come through here looking to attack up this side here. Or here. So let's do that. Okay, so while they're thinking of that, we've got two pawns that we can attack. I don't think there's a piece that can defend, so we'll potentially be winning one of them. So let's go here. Pawn can push to the knight, but then it's not going to... So we could go here attacking this pawn, or we could attack his king. Or we could move our pawns up. Could block this pawn first, maybe. Yeah, let's block with this one. He's moving very fast with his king. Do we need to be concerned? Knight comes here attacking his pawn. Um, he's got double pawn, so he's not going to lose out in that sense, is he? His king's going to come down the middle, looking for my pawn on the bottom. Knight here. It's moving fast with the knight, but I'm not too bothered about that knight. Uh, get closer up to the top. See if we can squeeze an attack on this pawn. Got to be careful though, because if we do go there, then... So we can squeeze here. Like I said, I'm not bothered about that knight really, I don't. Let's get over here. Yeah, so he's wanting to go backwards and forwards. Could go in for a draw on position. I'm happy going for a draw. I'm not bothered, so let's go. I'm a man of my word. When I do say that if there's a draw on position and it don't look too good for either player, I'll go for a draw. I'll claim it. Yeah. So practice what you preach. I'm practicing what I preach. Um, it looked a bit sticky, you know, in terms of being able to find anything valuable. And why overreg it? Yeah. Let's have a look at the analysis. Okay, so coming through. Let's see if there's any major danger spots. If there's any major advantages, potentially. 
Okay, so we're attacking, captured. It all seemed fairly simplified to myself. Blocked off with the bishop, castled. It looks fairly even so far. Capture, capture. And black is in winning formation. Oh, but this pawn move was not the winning continuation. So then we push on. So white is slightly better at the minute. So the computer said anyway. So we bring the knight across and then we capture. And that's only because of the material type thing. And there. So white is winning. Yep, so white could have won, I suppose. Uh, King C3. Uh, making my way over to the other side, I suppose. Yeah, that could have been doable. So it's showing it's a strong winning type of um, situation that I'm in. I think what I doubted was the fact that he's still got um, his pawns, you know, on the G and H. And maybe his knight could have some play somewhere by taking. But his knight would have to go back to, to come back out again. So in my head, I thought, just play it safe. So I suppose, yeah, king, king C3. What, what would he do? I don't really know what they would do. Maybe they bring the knight around here or something like that. And they're saying push e4, but I wouldn't be interested in pushing e4. If I if I did this particular move, I'd probably move my king here. Oh, look at that. And that's where it would all go wrong, wouldn't it? Because it's saying knight d5 check. And then get my pawn here on the bottom. So it'd equalize. So if I moved up here. Knight takes e3. Um, what was my plan? Just move that one. Knight d1 is going to come down the bottom. Just push up. C takes b3. Capture here. Knight takes this one. C3. So, getting a bit obliterated. So, I believe in my head, I, d I did the right thing because I would have played it wrong. Yeah, if I'd have gone over to the other side. And that's evident here. Brilliant. Good. Have a trust in taking a draw if you're not too confident about any of the other moves. If I had gone forward and done the move that I was going to do, or potentially, um, I would have ended up losing yeah there was a winning continuation somewhere but i didn't see it yeah because why it was winning but i i would have messed it up